Hey, what's up? It's Matt Doty again. And here I'm going to talk about the University of North Carolina men's basketball team of the 2016-2017 season. Now to start off, they did a really good time, good job in getting to the final, the finals of the NCAA tournament last year. But it's going to be hard for this year, even though, actually, they have lost some really good players. For one. Bryce Johnson, who was our All-American for the team, as well as he was the like the center, like the the main thing of this team. But also Marcus Page. Marcus Page was the leader of the team in a way. He helped the team in a way go to the Final Four with Bryce Johnson. Now that doesn't mean they're out of contention in anything. But still, they're gonna have a tough time with Duke and their Duke. Now, okay, to start. I was watching the game for IU, Michigan State. Okay, uh, now they have Joel Ber Joel Berry. Now he is a really good point guard in a way. They also have Theo Pinson. Justin Jackson, Isaiah Hicks, and also the big guy. I can't remember his name off the head. I'll figure it out. He's, but yeah, they have a really good team. They also, they got some uh, return, so many uh, really good recruits. Seventh Woods, seventh, seventh. Yeah, seventh. It's really hard to pronounce, but still, yes, he is. Another good recruit. Uh, I say they will have a good chance at the ACA, ACC championship. Them and Duke are probably going to be the two best teams, with also Louisville in the mix. But mostly it's going to be Duke and North Carolina. I say Duke has a ch has has the uh, the slight advantage due to the fact they have Harry Giles and also Justin. Uh, not Justin Jackson, uh, Jason Tatum, because those are two really good recruits, or two really good freshmen that will probably go to the NBA draft right after the first year. So it's going to be hard with North Carolina, but North Carolina also, they'll probably have a 20, plus 20 win season. Um... I said the hardest team is probably Duke. Then also uh, Louisville. They're I think they're facing Indiana. I think the, for the ACC Big Ten Challenge. I say it's hard to say, say at the moment, even because Indiana, where I'm going, they're good. It's just that they need a point guard in a way. We don't have a really good point guard like Yoey Farrell, but North Carolina has Joel Berry. Uh, I'd say it's going to be a good game. We're going to be one of the best games, probably, that they're going to face, except probably Duke. But uh, it's going to be a tough game for North Carolina. North Carolina always comes out in some way. I mean, I say the surprising thing was was them losing to Villanova. I thought they were gonna come out and win it due to the fact of their uh, skills with uh, Marcus Page and Bryce Johnson at the time. But I mean, they lost because they uh, Villanova has really good shooters. So I say it'll be a good day. Uh, throughout the season, I think if any, if they keep healthy, they'll have a really good season. They'll go to the NCAA tournament for sure, I think. Uh, they'll go deep into the, the, uh, pretty much the play, the postseason. I'd say they'll have a really good record through the regular season too. Probably not the, uh, uh, like the conference, like regular season champions, 
because I think Duke will win that this year. But, I mean, Joel Berry, Theo Pinson, and Justin Jackson, they're really good shooters. I mean, that's going to be a good thing. I think the three-pointers aren't as great as, like, their mid-range, but still, they will get that. I mean, they lost Market Page, who made an amazing shot during the NCAA tournament, so. But also, uh, I think they have really good uh, front court with Isaiah Hicks. I can't remember the big guy. It's hard to remember. If anybody can, like, type in the comments or just something, I can. I had it in mind. Had it in my mind. I just can't remember. Uh, sorry, I think it started with J. I think. But, uh, they're going to be a great team once they, uh, once they get going and actually when the freshmen are, uh, Right, like when the freshmen know the playbook and know what's going on, because it's gonna be a little bit of like a mix in a way. Like they're not gonna be great at the beginning, but they'll get there. Just like Duke and every other like young team, like Kentucky, they're not gonna be the really good until they get through it. Uh, but yeah. Uh. They have really good, like, mix into, like, their players, like, big guys, and also really fast and very athletic. I think they will actually have a good chance of a Sweet 16 this year as well. So, if you like the video, like the video. Tell me anything you will, I want to, like, elaborate in any other team that needs to be said. So, signing off. Uh... I say I'll do Indiana or Michigan State next, so go uh, Tar Heels. Sorry, go Tar Heels. Uh, have a great season. I'll see what happens in the postseason NCAA tournament.